As you know, in a normal speaker, the magnet stays still. The coil vibrates, producing sound. Actually, this earphone is not completely invisible. First, you need a tiny magnet which can be put in your ears. Amplifier and an MP3 player. Unlike the normal speaker, when this device is working, the coil necklace stays still on your neck as the magnet vibrates in your ear, producing sound. This is the magnet. The amplifier. This is the coil necklace. I'm gonna wear it on my neck. Connecting it to the MP3 player. Turn it on. Okay, it's working. This is enamel wire or magnet wire. It's kind of copper wire which is coated with a thin layer of polyurethane, a kind of plastic. I use a cardboard to wind the coil necklace. Make sure that the diameter of this coil necklace is larger than the diameter of your head. This is the schematic of the amplifier. The power supply consists of two 9 volts battery. The LM386 is a power amplifier. In this project, it's used almost beyond its ability, but it works well.
I will use a multimeter to find the ground wire of the audio signal wire. So the black wire is the ground wire. This is a mono channel device, so you just need to connect one of the signal wire to the signal input pin. Left channel and right channel are both OK. Now it's time for a test run. I can feel the magnet in this coil necklace is vibrating. I'm gonna use the microphone to pick up the sound. Yeah, it works, and it works well. I have tested magnets of different size and I might find the best size for this project. <laughs> 